Sir. <laughs> Probably wondering why I didn't show up before, huh? I know you wanted me to, even though you'd never admit it. Normally, I would kill to get into this apartment. And you'd try and keep me out. I say try, because at your Super Bowl party, which I was not invited to, I was lucky enough to be able to watch the second half from right over there. I was the bearded Domino's employee you invited in because I said I was a fan of Jerome Bettis, whatever the hell that is. Anyway, I tried to convince myself the reason I didn't come earlier was because of you coming into work drunk. But that's not it. I was scared. I guess after all this time, I still think of you as like this superhero that'll help me out of any situation I'm in. I needed that. But that's my problem, you know, and I'll deal with that. I guess I came over here to tell you how proud of you I am. Not because you did the best you could for those patients. But because after 20 years of being a doctor, when things go badly, you still take it this hard. And I gotta tell you, man, I mean, that's the kind of doctor I wanna be. Maybe he just needed time to heal, or maybe he just needed to see how much everybody cared. But I'd like to believe it was because of me that he was finally able to say this. You don't drink scotch. Oh, that's awful. I'm glad you finally shaved. <laughs> that's the thing about family. If you fall off the deep end, you can always count on them to rally around you. When you come back, you might get a quick hug, a pat on the shoulder, maybe just a nod. But no words really need to be spoken. Of course, it's always nice when they are. JD. Thank you. You're welcome.